Just roll the intro. Welcome everyone to Transfer Thursday's January window edition. We're not going to really talk too much about rumors or anything because there's so many transfers to go over. Hopefully next Thursday there will be another episode. So if you have any transfers that I may have missed or you just want to see on the show, just let me know in the comments below or just tag me on posts on Twitter or Instagram. You know the deal. Before we get into any of this though, if we can get 2.5k likes, that would be fantastic. So unlike last time's Transfer Thursdays, this one's going to go into chronological order. So we start off first with 21-year-old forward Ferran Torres going from Manchester City to Barcelona for 55 million euros. To be honest, I'm not sure how Barcelona have this cash in the first place. I mean, they're already doing stadium renovations, building a goddamn ice rink. How do they have enough money to pay for Ferran Torres? Anyways, he signs on a five-year deal and his buyout clause is 1 billion euros. He scored seven times in his debut Premier League season with just a little over a thousand minutes under his belt in 2021. That includes a hat-trick against Newcastle and not to mention he was considered Manchester City's best finisher. Considering how much Pep rotates his squad, that's very impressive for a first year. And going back to La Liga, this isn't exactly a foreign area for Ferran Torres. In the 2019-20 season, he scored four goals and assisted another five. Naturally a winger, but he can also play the number nine role as shown during his time under Pep. His most standout aspects of his game is probably his positioning and speed. It'll be interesting to see where Ferran Torres predominantly plays. This one came out of the blue. Lorenzo Insigne, at just 30 years old, mind you, goes to Toronto FC from Napoli. Lorenzo leaves a club he's been at since 2006 and he's made a total of 400 appearances for Napoli. He excels in ball carrying and the MLS is going to have to get very used to that signature shot of his. 22 year old left back Vitaly Mikolenko moves to Everton from Dinamo Kiev. The move was 23.5 million and a little bit later we'll talk about why exactly Everton are buying another left back. The contract lasts until 2026 and just pray for Mikolenko because I have a feeling this man's career is about to be ruined. Michael! Don't leave me here! My house! My God! 20 year old right back Vanderson makes the move from the Brazilian leagues to Liga. He's an attacking fullback that has tendencies very similar to a winger. Four goals, three assists, and 52 appearances for Grumio. The Brazilian national team will keep an eye on him as the right back position for them is a little bit questionable. But the modern attacking fullback moves to the land of no property tax for 11 million on a five year deal. Club America love their Santos Laguna players, and they have yet another in Diego Valdez as he signs for 10.6 million until 2024. Akin Fenwa 2.0 makes the move to West Brom on a four-year deal. Last time he was in the championship, he scored nine times for Barnsley, basically carrying them to a promotion playoff spot. The move was worth 8.6 million, and I'm sure we'll be seeing Daryl in the Premier League next season. Freiburg are currently third with one of the best defensive records in the Bundesliga currently. They add right back Hugo CK to their caliber for 4.5 million until 2026. The Barcelona killer himself, Constantinos Manolas, moves back to Greece for 2.5 million. Brentford's main keeper is ruled out for up to five months, so they will definitely need a replacement. And in comes the goalkeeper who saved Huddersfield plenty of times, Jonas Loso, on loan. Rafinha has barely gotten any playtime at PSG, so he's now loaned out to Real Sociedad. Celtic, after grabbing a gem like Kyogo Furuhashi, have decided to raid the J League of three players in just one. Day. 24 year old center mid Ryo Hatate from Kawasaki. 25 year old center mid Yosuke Idaguchi from Gamba Osaka. They both sign until 2026. Then another loan signing 24 year old left winger Daisen Maeda from Yokohama. The Pepe hype train has finally found itself in Europe. Augsburg signed the exciting American prospect for 16.3 million. Considering how his career got to this point is pretty inspiring in its own right. Last season in the MLS, he scored 13 goals for a terrible FC Dallas side. He excels in and his dribbling ability and is fantastic at running in behind the defense. But as this is the Bundesliga he's moving to, he's gonna have to improve on some of those weaknesses he has. Most notably his strength on the ball and also his aerial ability. Since Jonathan Ikone's 18-19 season where he had 9 assists, his form has kind of stagnated. He moves to Florence in hopes for a clean slate under manager Vincenzo Italiano. His move was worth 14 million and he stays until 2026. Genoa make a couple signings as they are near the bottom of the table and they're 
are both defenders. 24-year-old right back Silvan Hefti from Young Boys for 5 million, then 23-year-old center back Johan Vasquez from Unam for 3.5 million. Both those contracts until 2026. Michael Cuisance makes the move from Bayern Munich to Venezia FC for 4 million. Venezia in the journey to stay up add another midfielder to their team as he stays until 2025. Everton add another fullback this January in Nathan Patterson for 14 million. He was identified as the main target to succeed 33-year-old Seamus Coleman. Patterson signs on a five and a half year deal. Joey Veerman from Heerenveen moves to PSV for 6 million until 2026. After 349 appearances in 10 years for Bournemouth, Steve Cook says goodbye as he makes his way to a rejuvenated Nottingham Forest side on a free. Into January 5th and Brighton love their midfielders. So in comes another, young Kasper Koslowski from Pogan for 11 million. Fun fact, he is the youngest player to play at a European Championship at age 17 and 246 days back in 2021. His contract lasts until 2026. Christophe Gauthier is easily one of the most underrated coaches in the world, turning Nice into one of the best defensive teams in Liga this year, sitting in second. He adds a veteran in 27-year-old left back Jordan Amavi on loan. Very odd signing by Wolves, adding Hayao Kawabe from Grasshoppers for 600k. Kawabe isn't exactly young, he's 26 years old, which makes the signing a little bit more odd. However, he scored four goals and assisted another three in the Swiss Super League. He signs until 2025, so maybe Wolves have found themselves a gem. Who knows? It was Coutinho's dream to play for Barcelona, and in return, they absolutely ruined this man. However, Philippe Coutinho returns to the Premier League on loan at Aston Villa, and there is an option to buy for 40 million. Firstly, massive L for Barcelona, but at least his contract will be gone pretty soon. Secondly, will we see shades of peak Coutinho during his Liverpool days? His last time at Liverpool before the disastrous move saw him score seven goals, assist another six, and just 14 appearances. People also forget that Coutinho's loan spell at Bayern Munich was actually pretty good too, as he scored eight goals, assisted another six, and 20 three appearances in the Bundesliga. If all goes well though, Aston Villa have themselves an incredible playmaker. It really says a lot when you buy Kieran Trippier for 15 million, only then to lose 1-0 to Cambridge United at home. Jokes aside, Trippier was actually quite solid at Atleti. Simeone even considered him a key part of the team. So with that all being said, Kieran Trippier has played in the Premier League before. He signs until 2024, so we'll just have to see how he does throughout the rest of the season. Oh, what do you know? I'm now cleanly shaved. Yeah, I couldn't finish this recording in one day, sorry. Anyways, though, the tale of Ainsley Maitland-Niles is honestly quite saddening. Lord knows what this man has to do to get some solid minutes in a team that decides that Jacques is is their first choice midfielder. Roma and Jose have turned Tammy Abraham into a beast, and I hope Jose does the same for Ainsley as he joins on loan. Another Englishman enters the Serie A, Axel Twanzebe from Manchester United as he joins Napoli on loan. Genoa continue to make more moves in the transfer window, this time in the attack, as they sign 21-year-old center forward Kelvin Yeboa for 6.5 million from Sturm Graz. Back in 2018-19, Christoph Piatek was scoring a goal every 122 minutes. He had 13 goals in 19 appearances for Genoa. That earned him a move to AC Milan, but unfortunately the timing wasn't right because back then AC Milan were a club in shambles. Piatek just hasn't been the same player ever since, but he's hoping a low move to Fiorentina will change things. Stad Rem break a transfer record to bring in 22-year-old midfielder Jens Kajuste from Michiland on a long-term deal. Sinchoi didn't love their Japanese players and they now have Shinji Kagawa on a free. Initially linked with the move to Spurs, Sergio Oliveira instead makes a loan move to Roma. There is an option to buy too for just 13 million. The baller himself, Falerin Balogun, seeks better minutes with a loan move to Middlesbrough. Here's hoping this loan spell will improve his game and Arteta will actually use him a little bit more. It took the Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund and 30 million to finally relegate Burnley Football Club. Chris Wood, in his last three consecutive seasons for Burnley, has scored more than 10 plus goals. However, in this campaign, he's only scored three goals in 17 appearances, although usually he starts to pick up his form around the end of the season. Despite this though, he's at a personal high in terms of his aerial duels with 5.51 per game. Chris Wood signs until 2024, and Newcastle hope he can save them from being the richest club in the championship. Everton's Luca Dean goes to Aston Villa for just 30 million. That is a steal. Absolute robbery. I can't believe that's happened. Luca Dean is the second best creative left back since 2018-19's Premier League season. He's easily one of the top 10 left backs in the world and I stand by that. He is so underrated. Dinier also has 18 assists in the last three and a half seasons 
putting him only behind Andrew Robertson with 35. Best signing of the January transfer window. It doesn't matter who else gets signed. Luca Dean is the best signing this window. It is incredible what Aston Villa have been able to do though, getting Coutinho and Luca Dean. And Coutinho did just score a goal and an assist. I get it's like new game syndrome, but still, that's a great start. Here's a transfer that's pretty much the other way around. Anwar El Ghazi from Aston Villa has barely featured under Steven Gerrard, so now he's being sent on loan to Everton. China continue to lose their stars, and now Cedric Bakambu moves to Marseille for a free until 2024. He scored 48 goals and 71 appearances in the Chinese Super League. Sevilla's Ibrahim Amadou signs on a free to Mets. His contract lasts a whopping six months. I'm not particularly sure what happened to David Neres after 2018, but hopefully he can find some form again for his new club Shakhtar Donetsk as he signs for 12 million until 2026. Second place Sevilla adds some more firepower in Jesus Corona for 3 million. He'll be staying until 2025. Venezia have scored the second least amount of goals in the Serie A, putting them 17th, just hanging onto that position. Nani scored 10 times and assisted another 7 in the MLS, so he could be of some help. He signs for a year and a half. And finally, you remember Jordan Ibe? Well, he signed for a second division Turkish club. And that was the January edition of Transfer Thursdays. If you have any transfers that I may have missed or you just want to see on the show, just put them in the comments below or tag me in any posts on Twitter and Instagram, all that kind of stuff. But of course, a massive thank you to our patrons. Janos Balas, Daniel Ortiz, Edgar A.S., Joseph Bonfante, Nguyen Din Min Tang, Scott Skunk, Tom Bombadil, Victor, Dominic Griffin, Emmett Schaefe, Lewis, Big Bird, Cash Getty, Exo, Casa, and Tomicus. If if you'd like to join the Patreon, there'll be a link down below and in the annotations up there. You can follow my Twitter if you'd like for some video updates, follow my Instagram if you want, you can follow my TikTok trying to get to 4,000, and you could of course follow my inactive Twitch. But until then, I'll see you guys.